Hey, this is Mike from Helium Street, and uh, I'm just going to give you a warning right up front here. This is going to be kind of a short video, uh, and the reason why is because we're just going to highlight the grounding setup on this Red Series uh, installation. Okay, so if you recall, uh, on a previous video, the Red Series is just a real simple setup. Uh, we only had to purchase a couple of things to get this going. Uh, we bought the 8DBI um, bundle uh, from Rack Wireless, and that bundle comes with... Uh, it comes with the antenna, and it comes with a jumper wire, and it comes with a little hardware kit. Okay, so that's the bundle. Um, and then we also purchased uh, for this setup a, um, basically it's a satellite antenna dish uh, mast. Uh, and that's, we got that from Amazon. And the, basically you take those two things together, uh, and this mast uh, that we purchased came with um, some bracketry also. Uh, and so basically, this is what you end up with. Okay, you end up with the antenna, you end up with the hardware from the antenna, which is this, and then you get the hardware from the mast, which is the, the yellow, or the kind of the goldish colored, zinc colored brackets. Uh, and that's how you attach it to the, to the mast. Okay, um, and I go into detail in another video with that, and maybe we'll, we'll link it into this video. Um, but basically, all we're doing in this video today is showing you the basically the grounding setup. Um, and so what we're doing here is we're um, utilizing this jumper wire because we're literally going right off the bottom of the antenna, going down a couple of inches, and then right into the basically the attic space of this, uh, this garage. Okay, and so we're able to get away with using this kind of a jumper wire. Um, it's not really LMR240, but it's you know, it's basically it's it works fine and it's and it's performed very well. Um, and so I have no issue with utilizing this type of wire if we're just going a really short distance because it is really just a jumper wire, right? All right, so stay tuned. Like I said, it's a short one, so uh, hold on. So as you can see in the picture here, uh, basically what we're doing is we're running two ground wires off of like the mast, and then we're coming off the lightning arrestor that's attached directly to the bottom of the antenna. Okay, so you're running both those wires down, and they're connecting into the electrical system uh, of the building. So take a look. The uh, lightning arrestor uh, covered up with the uh, coax seal, and then again covered up with the electrical tape. So this is the, the lightning arrestors under here. So we've got our 10 gauge wire coming out, and that goes right inside this roof. Right underneath here is the miner. And um, then we also have uh, the antenna uh, coax in this case it's a jumper that comes with the um, 8 dbi bundle now the mast is grounded by this um, the screw and then a 10 gauge wire that's coming out here both of these ground wires go down to the grounding block uh, that's just below the electric service down right directly below us and both of these wires will um, serve as the complete ground for this this entire setup. Um, now, technically speaking, you only needed to do um, 17 gauge coming off the mast, but we always do 10 gauge off of it. Um, and then this is 10 gauge coming out of the light lightning arrestor. We're just going to go take both wires down to the grounding block, and we'll we'll show you it. All right. So continuing the ground. So like I said, we've got the two wires coming down off the mast and off the lightning arrestor. Both of them are 10 gauge. They follow the roof line. They come down this uh, conduit for the building. It comes down. And finally, both of those green wires terminate right here at the, the ground block. And this is the ground block that services the electrical system for the house. So, um, so yeah, so that finishes it up. So it's a good application. Uh, this should uh, be very uh, effective. All right, I told you that was going to be a fast one. So I'm uh, good. I hope this you got the information you needed. This is just a real simplistic description of how to ground a, a, a red series installation right uh, and if you need to find out any more about any of the parts and the pieces that go into this installation you can go to one of two places or go to both uh, you can either go to the description section of this video and you can find a lot of the links right down there or you can go to the red series tab at heliumstreet.com um, and you can do that either mobile or you can do it on your desktop whatever you like whatever your favorite is um, and also, that it would really help this channel a ton. Uh, it really helps us reach a lot more subscribers uh, and viewers 
um, if you subscribe and also hit that bell icon. Because when you hit the bell icon after you subscribe, um, that makes sure that you get notifications when we produce new content. So again, thanks so much for being here and we'll see you next time.